ladies and gents, ladies and gents, you know, we have to control our own economy. There's a, there's a, there's a, uh, that's a big ass dog standing out there. Yeah, that's a big fucking dog. There's a, I hope this video brings you value. We have to control our own economy. I was watching a video by Brian Buffini. If you don't know who Brian Buffini is, Brian Buffini is a real estate agent, I believe, out in California. This man came to America as an immigrant, didn't know anything. I don't, I don't even think he could speak English properly. And I'll tell you, this is a common theme I hear with certain realtors where not English speaking, they come here and they effing kill it. They kill it. So this, he's been in real estate 30 years out there, real estate trainer. He was, uh, he made a conversation, he made a video, sorry, he made a video having a conversation about how we can control our own economy. And he was mainly talking about realtors, but I wanted to share with you guys based upon just my own perception of what it means to control my economy. Now more than ever, we get on YouTube, we get on social media, especially as a finance guy. I mean, I'm not a finance, I'm not, I've never went to school for finance, but I, I love, I am very interested in finance, you know? so. Uh, I love watching the videos, learning about investing, all these other things. As a finance individual and all these YouTube videos, you would think the world is crumbling tomorrow. I mean, everything is October 1st, they're gonna increase rates, unemployment is going up, everyone's gonna lose a job. You got automation, you got outsourcing, you got all this stuff taking place around us. And it's a lot, it is a lot. And I'm not saying that I have all the answers, I, I know nothing, I know absolutely nothing. What I do know is what, at least what I'm focusing on is what can I control? What can I control? I can't control the economy. Listen, if this shit collapses tomorrow, money isn't moving, nobody's going to work and all this stuff, which I, I just don't see that happening like that. People will always need things, you know? But if something drastic happens where the economy just, dude, we're gonna have big, bigger things to worry about than crypto stocks real estate or anything else it's going to be a, a matter of survival and it's going to be blood sweat and tears out here so the worst worst situation which you know i've learned to what is the worst situation possible how can this go automatically left okay that's the worst situation move forward from that right how can i now take control of my environment or my situation my circumstances and for me, it's well, number one, I believe it's the mindset. It's, I don't care what's going on in the market, there's money to be made. I don't care if the real estate, stock market, crypto market, I don't care which market, there is money to be made in the market. Even if there's no money to be made today, there is money to be made tomorrow or next week. But I have to be positioned today to take advantage of the profits tomorrow or next week. Whether that means having a job, having, having skills, having income ha having savings and cash on the side to be to take advantage i have to be in a position to take advantage of the market not just financially but mindset wise if bitcoin is at 26 right now and it drops to 15 are you going to buy in or are you going to say oh it's maybe it'll drop to 10 which we know is foolish especially in bitcoin it drops to 16 tomorrow, you take advantage at 16. If it could drop to 10, and you could buy a little bit more at 10, you can buy a 10. But you don't drop, drop 16 and say, oh, I'm just gonna wait. It's at 26 now. You should be buying. Even if you drop to 20, buy some more. 15, buy some more, you know? And again, this is for crypto, this is for Bitcoin, this is not advice, do your own research. But what is your mindset regarding the markets? What is your mindset regarding, and this is why I also state that, I mean, again, I'm self-employed real estate agent, right? I think it's very, especially in these times where people are working on maybe some type of side business, some type of side gig or something. And I'm, and listen, you can't work 10 side gigs. I don't know why, you know, people on YouTube, man, it doesn't make any sense. One thing, maybe two, but at least one. Max two. So if you got your job, you can do a side gig. I'm in real estate, I'm looking at, honestly, I'm looking at insurance because I, I don't want to go back to school for four or five years for accounting and then maybe there's automation. And then I'm like, I'm not a sit behind a desk type of guy. I like to be out in the field talking to people, door knocking and all that stuff. 
Accounting is behind a desk. Insurance, I can more so still be out in the field like I am with real estate. And it can go hand in hand. Think about buying real estate, sell it? No, okay. Well, hey, do you have kids? Yes. If something happens to you tomorrow, is your kids gonna be protected? Everybody needs insurance. You, need, you have a car, house, property, everybody. You know, so I'm thinking along those lines because I do wanna add another source of revenue, another kind of, not everybody can buy real estate. And when it comes to selling real estate, I go directly to the location of who has the house, <laughs> the homeowner. So I'm just thinking about it from how can I control my economy? If I get another skill, I can not only provide real estate services, but now I can also provide insurance services. I'm thinking about how I can control my economy. I know it takes time to make money in these fields. Trust and believe, I am not getting in this to make money overnight. I would much rather take the slow road and control my income over three, five, 10 years, 15, 20 years, than be here making money today, but no five, 10 years, I'm only gonna get a one, 2% raise. And again, my circumstances and my environment allows me to be in this position to do this. Everyone's situation is different, which is fine. We all have to learn how to tailor things to what's best for us. But it's still thinking about how can we control our economy? How can we control where we put our time? I promise you, when you think about putting in five, 10 minutes into a book rather than five, 10, 15, 20 minutes into YouTube, and even if it's educational, because we sort of think, I, I know a lot of young people think, oh, I'm watching YouTube and I'm watching self-development and self-help that replaces reading. It does not replace reading. Just like typing your thoughts or feelings or journaling on a computer does not replace actually journaling and the things it does for your brain and your body when you write down on a book, on paper. How can we control our economy? Where are we putting our time? Where are we putting our energy? Someone from the past hit me up, and I find my I find I found myself thinking about the discussions that whatever we had and all this other stuff instead of putting my mind on work. And that was this morning. I was in the shower and I just started thinking about this stuff, and then I'm just like, "Yo, f this! I need to control my economy, control my mind." Ain't none of that shit. This woman, whatever, talking about. Who cares? Control my mind. So I want you guys to think about how can you control your economy? You might have, to, I'm probably gonna end up getting a little side job because I need to keep gas money <laughs> so I don't keep you know, selling off investments and cashing out and all that. Cause I know that I'm doing myself a disservice. And yes, I had to sell off some Bitcoin, I hate it. But at the same time, I'm like, I know, listen, with the, I have like three, four, I have 230th Street for sale. Pugsley will be up for sale in less than a month. Baychester is, we're clearing out the garbage, maybe less than a month. Uh, da, 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 da. And I have a buyer client who definitely wants to buy. I have 217th Street. The tenant's coming out. So with the business I have on, on the books, I could definitely be looking at thirty dollars to $40,000 for 2024 between winter and that springtime. So I understand that it is, it's not immediate. You know, it is not immediate. The only thing that's more so immediate is your job. And at the same time, yeah, but you know your job is limited in what they're gonna provide for you, short term and long term. So you have to be thinking, how can I control my economy? How can I build something? How can I build something that I can control? You own a cleaning business. You can control how many hours you put in. You can control if you get employees. You can control if you're gonna charge 25 an hour instead of $20 an hour. I don't care if you're a bookkeeper, you're offering a workout service, whatever. When you have something that you own, you're building, you can control the economy a little bit better for yourself. Whereas, I'm dependent upon hours, I'm dependent upon a salary, which is really slavery, because they'll keep your ass all day and still pay you the same damn thing that they're gonna pay you anyway. So again, I, I don't wanna keep going on, and just repetition is the mother of you know, learning. We have to hear it. Control our economy. How can I control my economy and have a better, a better input or a better control or a better 
control the narrative better of the direction of my future. That's why I door knock. Because I know that as long as I'm door knocking every single effing day in at least 100 days, I'm sorry, 100 doors, I am controlling the narrative of where my business goes. No matter shutdowns, whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm doing this and I'm getting in front of people, I'm controlling my career. And that's why I want to add insurance to continue to control the direction of my career. Thanks for tuning in. Like the video. Let me know your thoughts. You got you have input that I can learn from. Let me know your opinion. Thanks for watching, lady. Yo.